Hey guys, I've got a Magnificent 7 stock that could literally go parabolic this month if the Fed cuts rates. Let me tell you why. All right, so at the Economic Policy Symposium in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell indicated that, quote, the time has come for policy to adjust. And that suggests, guys, that interest rate cuts may be imminent. A significant shift in the macroeconomic environment will ensue. Okay, so let me just give you an overview of the Magnificent Seven. The Magnificent Seven, of course, referring to the world's largest tech companies, Apple, Microsoft, NVIDIA, Alphabet, Amazon, Meta, and Tesla. See, these companies are highly diversified across various markets, making them key indicators of the overall health of the economy. And just for an economic context, despite a dramatic cooling of inflation in 2023, prices for goods and services continue to rise, though at a slower pace. So high interest rates have been a defining characteristic of the macro environment, contributing to a slowdown in consumer spending, especially in sectors like online shopping and subscriptions. Okay, enter Amazon. Absolutely love this company. But the reason I made this video for y'all today is because I expect as interest rate goes down, Amazon's stock is going to skyrocket. Among the Magnificent Seven, Amazon is seen as having the most potential upside from the anticipated interest rate cuts. Amazon's e-commerce segment, which is its largest revenue source, could experience a resurgence if borrowing costs decrease boosting consumer purchasing power. AWS or Amazon Web Services, which is a major player in cloud computing, guys, is poised to benefit from increased corporate spending on AI, further accelerated by lower, lower interest rates. So lower interest rates are coming down, companies are gonna spend more on AI, and consumers are gonna spend more on Amazon's e-commerce site. Now, look at Amazon's current financial health because you have to look at the numbers to really see what's gonna happen. For the 12 months ending in on June 30th, Amazon generated $53 billion in free cash flow, guys, which is a mind-boggling 572% increase year over year, despite only a 10% revenue growth. All right, and when we look at the valuation, Amazon's price to free cash flow, or P, um, P over FCF ratio, is currently 38.9, significantly lower than its 10-year average of 84, indicating the stock is more reasonably priced today despite the company's growth. And when I tell people, like, I'm buying some Amazon stock, like, I remember last time I bought Amazon, I, I bought it, and some of my friends came in, dude, why are you buying Amazon? Amazon's already had its day. Amazon, no, people don't understand. The company is better priced today than it was years ago. So yeah, I'm buying some Amazon. By the way, Amazon is one of my biggest winners and it's also my number one holding, guys. I have more money in Amazon than in any, any other company. And look at their market cap. Over the last decade, Amazon's market cap has increased by approximately 1,140% while its free cash flow has grown fourfold. So what does this mean? What are you thinking, Nolan? Well, Amazon's current valuation doesn't fully capture its potential for profitability, especially in light of the possible interest rate cuts, which are, in my opinion, going to be the catalyst that pushes Amazon to its next level. They've got significant cash reserves and an economic environment that may soon become more favorable. Now, today, appears to be a prime opportunity to invest in Amazon. Interest rate cuts could act as a catalyst, driving growth both uh, on the consumer and corporate segments, making Amazon a strong buy. Now guys, of course, um, I'll, I give you a bunch of companies, I, I look over them, give you what I'm finding as I make these videos. 
A lot of them are companies that I'm not personally invested in. Amazon is not the case. I'm personally invested in this company. I love this company. And I'm really excited to see what it's gonna do in the future. Now, I'm not buying more stock today. I've already got a, a, large port, a large portion of my portfolio is in Amazon. I'm not adding to that position today, to be clear. But I am expecting it to explode. I'm expecting it to go up. I'm expecting to make more money. I've already made a lot of money on Amazon. I expect it to make me some more. Because here's the point, guys. Winners win. Winners win. Yeah, you can you can bail out. You can think that the company's over. You can think, wow, Amazon had its heyday. The money's already been made. I think there's more money to be made with Amazon. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think down in the comments down below. And leave a like on this video if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this. Thanks for watching guys. Remember to subscribe if you're not a subscriber because I post a video every single day and every week I'm posting a video about what stock I am buying because I do buy a stock every week. All right guys, that's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Peace.